Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. My name is John and I'm your piano teacher for this lesson. Today I'm going to introduce you about sharps and flats on the keyboard. I will explain these concepts in detail and you can definitely learn without a piano. But if you do have a piano and be able to try on yourself, that will be much better. So let's get started. Sharps and flats are important components of music. A sharp note is one half step above the original note, and a flat note is one half step below the original note. So what is a step, or what is a full step? A full step is the distance between two natural notes, such as G and A. The distance between them is referred as a full step. So a half step is simply half the distance between two natural notes, in this case. Given a natural G, if you want to play G sharp, you will be playing the key immediate to the right of G. If you play G flat, you will be playing the key immediate to the left of G. You can probably tell that the pitch of G sharp is slightly higher than G. And the pitch of G is slightly higher than G flat. The pitch is going down. So essentially, sharps and flats are notes with their pitches altered by a half step. Let's pause the video for now and do a quick exercise. Try to find the sharps and flats of the following notes, D, A, and B. If you get the answers right, you must have found the A sharp and B flat are on the same key. And here's an important takeaway. A key always sounds the same when we represent different notes. For instance, the black key to the right of C is both C sharp and D flat. A misconception is that sharps and flats are confined to black keys only, and that is not the case. Our previous example of B sharp shows that sharp notes may also locate on white keys. And the same goes for flat notes. If you play C flat and F flat, you are actually playing natural B and natural E. Now let's study symbols related to sharps and flats on music sheets. The sharp notation looks similar to a number sign, and the flat notation looks like a lowercase b. The key in which a music piece is composed determines the notes you need to play sharp or flat. For example, if you play a piece in G major, which contains the note F sharp, you are expected to play all Fs as F sharps. The arrangements of sharps or flats for different keys are indicated by key signatures, which are positioned between clefs and time signatures. A key signature is always strong at the start of a piece and appears at the start of every subsequent system. When you read a music sheet, unless you see a natural sign on a note, you should always follow the key signature. Sometimes, composers may alter the pitches of certain notes in order to produce beautiful melodies and harmonious chords. They may write a sharp, a flat, or a natural in front of a note, and we refer to these symbols as accidentals. Without key signature, the number of accidentals would be too large and make music sheets difficult to read. 